and Jess here on day 1A of the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open with a guy who brought a lovely lady to the tables with him today. Right here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I can't compete with Graham Dean. You cannot, no. She is the best ever. Sean's grandmother is here. She plays poker. She plays the WSOP main event. We were going to grab her for this, but she's killing the cash games downstairs. Yeah, she's a grinder. She's literally played at least eight hours a day every day since she's been in Florida for the last ten days. And she said last night was actually the first time in her life she got sick of playing because of all the bad beats she had. Uh -huh. But then she's back at it again today. To clarify, how old is she, if you don't mind? Sharing. Uh, she will be. She's proud to brag about her age. Okay. She will be 92 in April. So uh, yeah, in 92, she's it took 92 years. But, <laughs> but Ellen is finally getting a little tired of the bad beats. She's been playing poker since she was eight. So yeah, that's a few years of not that's like amazing. getting sick of it. Yeah, I don't know how. Now what kind of stakes does she play? Uh, she's a limit player. She hates okay. no limit. Um, I finally taught her big blinds today, like this week, and I was really proud about that. She finally gets the concept, but uh, she just doesn't like. She's like I don't like to go broken one hand. She's a post flop player, so I just like to see a lot of hands. Well, you've been seeing a fair amount of hands yourself today. I don't know if you guys can see it. He's got about oh, yeah. 100k, which puts you near the top of the count. So you've got another big stack at your table right across from you. Yeah, there's uh, three people on my table, like 100k plus, and uh, the young good players. And I actually, one of them bluffed me in front of my grandmother. I actually folded an over pair. Wow. Yeah. I even like I even said that as a great line, like you're gonna bluff in front of my grandma and you like kinda like couldn't laugh at the joke, so I like even said like you look real serious and I like knew he was bluffing. I don't know why I folded, I just like made a really bad fold. I was gonna say usually they tell you not to bluff the guy with the girlfriend or the grandma railing. They wanna show Well like, I don't know these things, I'm not a live player. They are. Yeah, but I, I apparently made a really bad fold and uh, it was very sad to get shown a bluff. And then they had my brother had to tell my grandma she's in a wheelchair, couldn't see the table, that Sean got bluffed because like I tanked for like seven minutes, got an argument with the dealer twice at the floor called over. You're leaving this way around your grandma. She's worse than anyone. She has a, the sure. mouth of a sailor. I mean, but she's just like she's put in 92 years. Ellen can do whatever she feels <laughs> like. You have you got to play some more deals before you can. I have a lot of deals to go. All right. Well, it seems like you're no worse for the wear, even though you made a bad fold. Hopefully, we can see you make run to the final table. Get Ellen in the booth and do some commentary on your play. Oh, that would be amazing. Please let that happen. I like this idea. <laughs> Tony and her would be a great like duo. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and check with her. You get back to working your way towards the book. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.